Chris Sitters. All right. All right, Chris. Come on in. Good evening. Good evening. Chris Sitters at EDP. Pete Matulos, nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Doing well. Have a seat. Oh. Yeah, no, please. Come on in. Thank you. So mm -hmm. this is bad. I'm looking at this camera. Either I'm balding in the back or I got a big gray spot. I don't know about <laughs> this thing, so we're not going to look at that anymore. Sure, no problem. So, how's your day been going so far? Uh, good. I mean, look, people are sick every day. I'm in a mm -hmm. business where they're just going to get sicker and sicker and more of them are going to be there. So... It's a good business to be in, except some days are worse than others. And it's flu season, so everybody's, oh. uh, everybody's kind of sick right now. So. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a time of year. Yeah, it absolutely is. So, so in the meantime, do you mind if I take some notes? Absolutely, it's totally fine. Before we get started, let me give you this uh, business card. Sure. There you go. And if you don't mind, I'm going to refer to my notes and instructions most of the time. So Definitely, no problem. Okay. So, in the meantime, I just want to say congratulations. I know you're going on your second location right now. Yeah, you know, I, if I knew, um, um, if I knew that it was this difficult uh, to open up a second one, I don't know if I would have. It seemed like it would, we've done it once, and so you just do what you do one, and then you just do it again. It's not mm -hmm. quite as easy. And as we think about maybe a third one, we're like, do we even want to go there? Because this is, we just thought this would be easier. So. Yeah, again, we're just trying to figure out how to make it work here. And, you know, I think one of the reasons we're going to talk is because, you know, I'm trying to save some money, but mm -hmm. the thing I have about your product, I'll tell you before you start, to save myself money and time and effort, i got to pay you money. And mm -hmm. I'm absolutely trying to cut every cost that I can here to get new medical technology, open up a third location. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I get it. Sometimes i got to get outside my comfort zone, but i got to figure out if it makes sense. And if it makes sense, it might make my home life easier because i got my wife doing it now. And look, we got young kids at home. I, she's stressed, but she's done it since day one. So one employee to 35, it's gotten about 35 times as hard. I see. And so, so you said you had 35 employees, is that right? Yeah, we got 20 at the first one, then we got 15 here at the second one that we've got. Oh, wow. So, you know, I mean, we're growing, and, you know, at this growth rate. Um, again, people are always going to get sick. Atlanta's a big metro area. More people are moving here all the time. So uh -huh. we, uh, we want to open up more, but I mean, again, more people, more, more problems. I understand. <laughs> Think I was just a rap lyric there. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, all right. So it says you got 35 employees. So, um, who actually handles your, your employees payroll and, um, your oh, we do. Out. I mean, we, we've done it since day one. I mean, I, I don't think it's QuickBooks. It, uh, it's something else my wife uses, some other software program uh, that she uses and, and you know, updates and, and makes it work. I mean, it's made for small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we've outgrown it. I don't know. It seems to work, but, I, you know, sometimes I blame the software, but maybe I should be blaming her, but that's a tough situation. I mean, yeah. she puts things in, there's things screw up. Uh -huh. I just... I pretend it's a software. Uh -huh. Probably not, but <laughs> that's how that works. So I gotta go home there. So. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, since you have to go home there or whatnot, she's handling all your payroll and processing. Yeah. Um, and with this same example, if I show you how to cut your cost and do something better to save you some money and time for your bottom line. Yeah. Um, do we have everybody in the room in order to make that decision if we want to move forward today? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm the doctor. I can. I can. I can, I can do that. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah. All right. Sure. All right, so um, first and foremost, I want to let you know that I have over 10 years of sales experience. So I just want to let you know that I'm not interested in actually having your business right now or immediately. I'm more so interested in doing business 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Yeah. So I just want to reassure you that I definitely have your long-term interest in, in mind. Um, so first and foremost, I understand you see you have 35 employees and your wife actually handles all the payroll processes for that too as well. Yeah. Does that come included with the human resources too? Yeah, I mean, I... I mean, I guess she answers questions. I think sometimes she calls. Sometimes we look stuff up online. We got a neighbor who's an attorney. I mean, sometimes oh, wow. we see him at a neighborhood party and ask him for doing the right thing. Sometimes oh. he says we are. Sometimes he says we're not. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he says don't get caught. I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, if the software program's not doing it, then we probably don't. I understand. Okay, so um, do you have how many? Uh, what's the number of managers? Well, actually, how about this? Yeah. Um, so, is there ever is there since you have so many employees and your wife is handling everything? Yeah. Um, how long does it take for her to actually handle each individual employee? Um, it takes her. Let me look at my notes here. Um, it takes her. Uh, it takes her about three minutes. Uh, I'm just going to go with this. It keeps. It takes her about four hours of pay period. Four hours. Oh, four hours yeah. per pay period. Okay. Yeah, four hours per pay period. And that is just and that and that is for just the just the input. The yeah, I mean that. Look, it, it takes her four hours of pay period if she does everything right. Uh -huh. So I mean, we've got a couple of checks to kick back every once in a while. We've got some something direct deposit doesn't hit the bank correctly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got we got some time that, you know, she's got to redo some checks. I mean, that takes time. So, I mean, look, four hours is ideal, but I'm going to say probably six hours is she's spending each time. Six hours? Okay. Yeah. And is that is that primarily just like just inputting all the information, processing and signing the checks too as well? Yeah, in, in inputting back. and processing and then mailing things out because we mail everything, all the checks out. We don't give them out. We mail all the checks out or we direct deposit certain things. So, I see. Um, and then, you know, she's also responsible for, you know, we spend, I don't know, I mean, it seems like it's like, I don't know, 1000 1500 bucks a year to redo the software. It's like tax oh, software. Wow. It's like tax software. It's like, hey, we've upgraded this for all the new tax laws and codes. You got to get the new thing. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't use uh, TurboTax. You know, 1999 anymore. So we got to upgrade it. So we do. Yeah, I mean, I guess we do. I mean, we buy it off the shelf, but we probably just upgraded it. I mean, she handles it. Um, she handles it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Since she spent so much time on there, how much? How much? Um, how much of her time? I'm sorry. How much is her time worth as far as handling everything per hour or can you estimate? Well, I mean, she just handles kind of, I mean, look, we got three kids at home. So I can mm -hmm. tell you the days of her working full time here and helping me grow the practice are not there. Maybe that's the problem that I'm having under the second thing is that she was there side by side with me in that first clinic. We worked day, night, Sunday to get a thing going. We didn't take any pay in the beginning. We got it out of the ground. You know, then it was rolling. Mm -hmm. and then we had another kid, then we had another mm -hmm. one, so she's not really here. So she, I, I give look, I give her a little bit of spending money to it. I mean, mm -hmm. my money's her money, but I give her five hundred dollars mad money a month. So I pay her, I guess, about um, or I give her five hundred dollars a week to go ahead and do the payroll. So I guess it's five hundred dollars a week. I pay her twenty six thousand dollars a year to uh, to go ahead and handle that. Okay. All right, and um, so before we get into the specifics, yeah. what if I told you I could show you something that actually cut your costs and also actually um, do something better for your bottom line? Would you be interested in that? And keeps my life out of the office. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. doesn't and makes my life better at home. Makes life, and it saves you some time. All right. Well, hey, listen. I mean, that's why I had you here because you yeah. said you can do it. I mean, I'm a little nervous because again, I know I got to pay you money to do something. <laughs> I'm trying to cut costs to open up a third place. So let's see what you got. Uh, sure, definitely. Okay, so first things first, how many managers do you say you have in the office? We've got uh, an office manager in each location. So, okay, so yeah, managers. each location has an office manager. Okay, and let me see here. What would you say each manager, what is their hourly rate estimated? Uh, you're making me do math. Let's let's say... Estimated figure. Oh, uh, $25 an hour. Okay, $25 an hour. Okay, all right. And um, do you, are you on a bi-weekly pay, pay? We're on a bi-weekly. Okay. And uh, let me see here. And also, what is the average amount of hours per employee that actually they, they spend? No, mean, average, average, I'm sorry. Average, um, the average hours per employee they work a week. Uh, our employee, we don't do overtime. We, we keep them about 40 hours a week, and we okay. staff up so somebody's always covering them. I and we really don't have a problem with that. That's not a big deal. I see. Okay. I see. All right, so average hours is 40 hours. Right. And uh, what's the, how many employees? You said thirty-five employees. Correct? Thirty-five employees. Yeah. All right. And do you plan on like, adding any more? Yeah, I mean, we listen. I mean, we're in a huge metropolitan area. We're trying to grow as much as we can. I'll probably add. I mean, the first location has twenty. This is based second. Second location here is basically the same footprint, so we can probably get another five here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, we'll probably get to forty total because I want them to sort of mirror each other and operate the exact same way. I understand. Okay. So let's say forty total for um, a number of employees. Yeah. Four, okay, forty employees, and also, let me see here for you. Pull this up here for you. Sure. And um, what do you say your employees only as the, what is their hourly rate? Uh, let's say an average of twelve dollars and fifty cents. Fifty. All right. All right. And 
me see here. Pay period. All right, so that's a good thing. Okay. And I'm pulling everything up. I'm just, I'm just calculating it up here for you. I yeah. have a spreadsheet so I can actually show you exactly what it is. Um, so we said 26 per year. All right. And so the time savings and put accuracy. Okay. So, so what I wanted to show you here. So, so make sure I have everything correctly. So, what I've actually calculated here on my spreadsheet too. Yeah. Is that actually you told me with everything I inputted here. As far as when it comes down to your, to your annual savings automation is going with us. Now there's a there's a nucleus research where the companies say they can expect to save as for managers if they hire ADP you save about forty minutes per week. Okay. okay. Now let's say for example do a course of a year comes the time management savings you're saving about eighteen point seventy five seventy seven five hours per year, mm -hmm. which also comes out to your annual savings automation about forty eight thousand dollars. Now you said you had two managers, correct? Yep. So therefore, I have the main and manager. So that's your annual savings automated yearly. Now these are annual. Now what's savings. it cost? Well, all right, so I'm saying forty eight grand. Obviously, it's not really forty eight grand because yeah. you're going to cost me. You're going to charge me. Yeah, exactly. To do it. Exactly. What I'm saying is, Kyra and us to do that too as well. Okay. And I'm just giving you just a rough estimate. We're going to calculate exactly what you're uh, what you're spending right now. Okay. Okay. So I'm just giving you a cost for right now. Yeah. And how about this? Let me see here. So let's say you have six hours you spend per employee. Yeah. All right. All right. That your wife spends, and you said her time is worth. Well, I mean, a pair of five hundred dollars a month, a week. So I mean, at that or what's that? Eighty-five dollars a. Yes. It's about eighty, eighty-four dollars, eighty-four fifty. Okay, so say two weeks, about three, was it five hundred? Yeah, she makes about twenty-six thousand dollars a year. Okay, twenty-six thousand. Okay, so it's twenty-six thousand dollars a year. All right. She's probably a pretty good hourly rate for us. Oh, like definitely. <laughs> And um, and that's including both processing the payroll, yeah. also signing them out and fixing anything that comes back. Okay, yeah. all right. And also, let me see if I get you this information. Also, plus as well, um, let's see here. Now, I know you said you plan on paying five more people. Now, I know you said that she does some kind of manual processing. Yeah. Now, does she? I'm guessing that's some kind of software or somebody that helps her out. Yeah. Okay. Now, does that software require quarterly or monthly updates or annual? Updates? Yeah, the annual update. I mean, you said fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, we got to spend like fifteen hundred bucks a year. Okay. All right. All right, and then um, see here. So the fifteen hundred bucks a year. All right, and also too as well. That let's see here. That I'm guessing. Do you guys offer a PTO or pay to pay time off? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no? Okay. I mean, I, if, we're, if we're supposed to, I assume we do. I mean, like I said, we don't really have an HR person, so mm -hmm. I just trust that my wife knows that we're not. I mean, no one sued us yet, mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe we're just lucky. Okay, now that's just the payroll processing by itself. What about when it comes down to tax season? I got an accountant for that. You got an accountant As a matter of fact, that? he wants to go ahead and do all this for me, and he's giving me a price to go ahead and do it. So. Yeah, is he, um, is, he, uh, is he for ones that prepares? The, I'm saying you see an accountant that takes, I'm pretty sure, to get him all the information, yeah, you have to go ahead and get those reports or whatnot. Yeah, he yeah. said he can do all this for me for I don't know. I mean, he keeps talking about it, so okay. I got. I'll, I'll probably talk to him and this to see if that works. Okay, so you already have an account to handle this already. I mean, he just says my taxes. Yeah, we, oh, okay. we outgrew doing TurboTax. All oh, right, all right, that's no problem. All right, and also, do you have any? Um, if you have to get any kind of reconciliation from your bank as far as trying to gain some information as which pay out or uh, yeah we do we do we do some of that okay and um, how many how many hours per pay period or per month you actually would use I don't know I don't know okay don't worry about that okay so in the meantime now the you said you offered paid time off correct uh, I don't know like I said we haven't been sued for I assume oh, okay, yeah, my okay. wife says my wife says we're all good Mm -hmm. As long as I don't get a lawsuit, I feel I'm good. Okay, so I know you haven't got a lawsuit yet, so I'm guessing she probably uses some kind of software or something to keep up to date. Yeah. Okay. All right then. So it looks to me what I've calculated here is you she you spend on her for her actually twenty six thousand dollars yearly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also to as well fifteen hundred dollars update the software. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Now you just that's just the payroll by itself. That's not including any kind of tax administration. Right. No HR information. None of that information. Okay. You have an account to handle that. Yep. Okay. So when it comes down here, I have here. It comes out to approximately spending twenty seven hundred five hundred dollars. Is that correct? Right. So you're telling me I save forty eight hundred. You're spending twenty seven five. So my net savings is then going to be. 
$20,500. Correct. And also at the same time, you're also saving 18, 18.775 hours weekly. Now, what do you think you'd be doing with that time if you had an extra 18.775 hours a week? Well, that's almost a half a week. I think we could see more patients and make more money. Yeah, hey, didn't you say you have kids too? Yeah. Yeah, so you could probably spend more time with the kids. If I made more money and my people were more efficient and my sub doctors were better, I could spend more time at all. Exactly. And also, and also the same time too as well. Um, I know you just you just recently opened your second location. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you, is that is that it for you? Because I know you had said. No, that. We listen. We, if this works, we'd love to get a third. Like I'm telling you, man. I mean, people are sick out of the woodwork. So. Oh really? Yeah, man. Oh, wow. If I could find another good doctor to open that third place, I would. Well, hey. Well, in the meantime, or you could have you know additional eighteen point seven seven five hours to go ahead and look for one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can stretch. I'm, I'm stretched thin at two right now. I don't uh -huh. think I can get to a third one. Okay. Well, um, I go ahead. And I gave you the factors as far as this goes. So, how about this? Would you like to see the uh, the the demo as far as how easy it is to actually use the process? I'm going to pass on the demo, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Um, this is good, um, and I mean, I know I know kind of what you guys do. I mean, I know ADP is good. I know, like, I don't know. I thought ADP and paychecks were the exact same thing. I, I really had no idea. Uh -huh. I have a buddy that works at paychecks that, um, you know, listen. I, my wife contacts me on Sundays on the golf course. Like mm -hmm. People can't get checks, cash. It's a pain in the ass. He's always like, "Why are you taking? You know, why? Why are you doing it yourself?" Like mm -hmm. he says, "You're you're too big to be doing it yourself." So, um, I, I feel like I kind of got to talk to him because I mean, he's talked to me about using. I mean, he's a friend, mm -hmm. but I know he knows what he's doing. So I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to share your numbers, but I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him and and say, "Hey, what, what what do you think you can do?" I mean. Maybe similar, maybe not. I don't know. Like I said, I thought you guys were all the same. You just use different names. Okay. But but regardless, you know, um, I'm gonna probably talk to my wife on it too because okay. you know, again, if I'm not. I mean, maybe she likes her twenty six thousand dollars a year. I don't yeah. really know. I mean, maybe my twenty thousand dollars savings, I'm gonna be net because she's gonna suck that up because now she realizes <laughs> we're saving money by her not working. It's a really bad way for me to go ahead and do it. Plus, mm -hmm. if I don't do it right, like look. And spend it to her, she's gonna feel like I've replaced her. When really all I'm trying to do is stay home and take care of the kids more and enjoy your time. She may not look at that as a vacation. She may look at that as I like my six hours a week in the office doing payroll. So I don't really know. But that's probably what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So okay. and then we can talk about it. I mean I gotta I gotta check with her. Alright, well let me ask you this. Um, how soon do you plan on talking with uh, your friend, actually? Um, well, I gotta do something, but we're coming up to the end of the month. I gotta do something here in the next 10 days. Okay. Um, so I'll probably talk to him uh, by the end of this week, and then um, I'm not golfing this weekend, so I'll probably talk to my wife and lay everything out to her and kind of see what she thinks. Okay. Yeah, because we're saying the time that you're spending from here, the time I actually talk to your wife and also your friend, you could be saving money at the same time. The best part about it is that we actually get you set up now. It only takes about a week for you to actually get started. So in the meantime, we're actually saving you money if we go ahead and get you signed up for today. Okay. And that way we'll get everything implemented. You'll we'll start saving your money. Plus, go ahead and save, was it $21,500? Yeah. In order to actually get you started. So, All right, let's do this because I know we're long watching time. Mm -hmm. Whatever wrap close you got to do, do it because then I got some feedback for you. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, yeah, so definitely. All right, so in the meantime, how about this? What I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and send you a, a um, invite on Outlook. Okay. And we'll go ahead and schedule for this time next week. Okay. So that, that way we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and discuss further on this and then get you all started and set up and see what you learned from your friend and also what um what your wife had to say. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes sir. Appreciate all right. it. So good job. So a couple of things. One, I really like that you said are the right people in this meeting to make a decision that this works for us today. Mm -hmm. That's key in any business. You're not always gonna get that. I might have said no I gotta take it to the boss. I'm the user buyer. That means I'm the user buyer. Okay. I'm still really important. So, in some aspect, that's gonna be an HR manager, that's gonna be a CFO, a controller, somebody who's, that's their job categories to handle payroll or handle, we sell commercials, handle the insurance. They'll hold themselves out to be the decision maker all the way mm -hmm. through the process. They'll tell you it's their decision. Most of the time, they're not lying to you. Mm -hmm. But, and sometimes they are the decision maker, but it gets political, it gets yanked. So, somebody else has got a better deal and unfortunately you find out through the process or you're not told that the owner actually has a relationship with the guy you're replacing. So I don't have I don't have payroll now, so ADP's not replacing anybody. In our world, since people have to buy insurance, anytime we write a new deal, somebody else is losing it. Mm -hmm. And so the politics and the human nature of, I presented an awesome deal, why don't you go with me? Even if it's the decision maker, sometimes that decision maker has been pointed out that you made a really poor purchase decision. You bought a crappy policy that's got holes all over it, cost you a lot of money. 
you should do this. Sometimes I'm exposing what a bad decision they made uh -huh. and then asking them to make a good decision for me. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how many times people won't pull the trigger because it's like a self mistake. And it's, it's mm -hmm. maddening. Like we leave the office saying this is a no brainer deal. Yeah. Not, no, it's a no brainer until human nature gets involved. So I thought that was good. I also like what you said, which is I'm going to steal a little of something. I've been doing this 19 years. I don't, <laughs> I manage a big sales team now. I don't necessarily sell as much. Um, but when I do, I'm going to add, and I'm going to talk to our guys that have done it for a while, like, look, I've done this for X amount of years, so I'm not in here to earn your business today. This is a long-term play. There's a renewal component to it. I've had clients sometimes 15, 16 years, so that's how I look at everything is that I'm going to have you for a while. So whatever I tell you here better be true. You're two, three, four, five. So I like the way that you went ahead and did that. Um, one thing I would say about the, the guts of the presentation, and it's slightly unfair for me to say this for a couple of reasons. One, I don't know how much mathematical information he gave you beforehand, <laughs> but if you were truly an ADP person, you would. one of the things that you could say or whatever you're saying is, look, I'd like to come out there and meet with you. Before I come out to meet, I'd like to gather a few key pieces of data so I can prepare some numbers beforehand to make our meeting Before more productive. <laughs> so I know you're trying. So, Again, it's the setup of this, yeah. and you're not a true ADP guy. And I know some companies, and I think ADP might be one of them. You know, they have the laptop, they pop the thing. It's, it, you know, it looks like you put a spreadsheet together. Yeah, actually, I, it was spreadsheet via the um, the 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 um, some of the some of the how can I say, not even testimonials, but even there was the same formula that they had yeah. even on the ADP site. Which you, I but did. if you were a true ADP yeah. person, you'd be way more slick at this. At some point, you're asking me. I'm the doctor, my wife handles everything else, you're asking me questions that I don't know the answers to. Okay. And so if sometimes they're dependent upon that, or you're making me look like I don't know the answers to what should be simple questions. Yeah. And so you gotta be cognizant of the fact that, you know, a lot of times and you'll whatever sales role you'll go into, you'll know what information you get beforehand to make it productive. But if you had some of those numbers already, you come out, you would already have it prepared and say, Look, before yeah. I came, you gave me some numbers, here's what you told me. Or you might say, again, Look, in order for our meeting to be productive, there's some information that would be important for you to have handy. I'm going to send you over a, a, a spreadsheet, or I'm going to send you over a little, you know, sh one page sheet of what you could have handy because those are the questions we're going to need to. And if you can get me that information, I'll be able to go ahead and take that and show you right then and there, like on your laptop, what my cost basis is going to be, and I'll be able to be able to give you my whole presentation right there. Cool, awesome, because most times. In this particular role, unless you're absolutely meeting with probably the wife, the other person's not going to know it. Or if mm -hmm. you're meeting with a CFO, they're probably not going to know all the numbers. They're going to say, well, I got other people, and then I got to pull people in. Mm -hmm. Or more often than not, you have a meeting, there's initial interest, and then you've got to figure out how to take that to a second meeting where I got to pull in other people. And between that first meeting and that second meeting, there's a lot that can go wrong in that equation. So. Mm -hmm. Again, a little unfair because I don't know what the yeah, stagger gives you. You guys don't want to, you know, to, to put it all together. But at some point, it gets a little lost in questions and stuff. And, and then all of a sudden, if I'm really a, a truly high-paced doctor, I'm probably losing interest. And I'm mm -hmm. saying, look, this, this isn't going to work. Like, let's reschedule a meeting. Just tell me what you need. I'll get it to you. And that may, not, may or may not ever happen. Okay. So, but I thought you could establish the ground rules. You've got good, you've got good meter to your voice. You, your consultative, the pencil in the ear might be. I know, I know. I'm the, I'm looking at this, and I'm, I was thinking to myself like, that's okay. Did I leave the pencil in my ear just yeah. now? <laughs> it, it, listen, these are all <laughs> fixable things, uh -huh. and that's why we do these types of events is to uh -huh. go ahead and talk to you all and, and do everything. You make good eye contact. You know, you, you you had good pieces going through, and what what was good, um, is that you put it in. The, you know, we got there, but you put it in the dollars, mm -hmm. and then you want to be able to show again what the incremental cost is. So look, yeah, I am going to charge you, but I'm going to show you that I'm going to save you money by charging you money. Yes. And you, you you mentioned that through the process, and so breaking it down in you know the more you can do beforehand, especially in something like this. Again, I know you're not an ADP guy, but <laughs> to be able to have something broken down, regardless of what it is, that we're not necessarily focusing on the 2,500 that you're I'm paying you, but incrementally. Um, you know, how do you show that instead of you paying me twenty thousand dollars, or let's say forty-eight, I might be paying you forty-eight. Or that's a bad example. Let let let. Um, I'll, I'll give you this example, but it's not your thing. So yes. the previous girl who was in here, she come up and said, "All right, it's going to cost you um, forty thousand dollars a year." And I said, "Well, I'm paying my wife twenty-six thousand." And so, you know, if I were her, I said I would have gone ahead and said, "Hey, look, it's you're saving twenty-six. You're not paying your wife." The incremental cost is 14. You take that down by divided by 12. It's like 1,250 dollars a month. So instead of thinking that you're paying me 40,000 dollars a year, 
would you pay me twelve hundred fifty dollars a month to have it right, to have payroll, to have taxes, to have to live out, to keep your wife off of the side, all that other stuff? That's a much more palatable sell when you break it down into other incremental costs, net costs, and all of a sudden make it more palatable for me to swallow. So whatever you're selling, we do that sometimes with with you know, hey, we don't always sell more the lowest deal, and so in our world, we sometimes have to show there's value in what appears to be you paying more, or essentially, yes, you are paying more, but let's think about what this is replacing. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times, last example I'll give you, in auto insurance, you can get um, rental car coverage built into a policy. So I might say, look, we can add this to your auto policy, it's gonna cost you 11 grand, but if you go look at the amount of rentals that you do on an average year, and you tell all your people to go ahead and take the damage waiver, Let's see what you spend. So yeah, I'm spending. I'm charging you eleven grand, mm -hmm. but you don't even realize that you're spending fifteen thousand dollars a year, nickel and dime, every mm -hmm. single thing. Wouldn't it make more sense if you told your people never to do that? You knew you had the coverage. There was never going to be a scenario where somebody forgot to do something, mm -hmm. didn't check it, and ultimately I save you four grand. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So all, all of a sudden I flipped and put it in a different perspective where there's a benefit and a value there. So. Again, you guys, this class is awesome, and I think the best thing that he teaches you all, and you guys do so many different scenarios, yeah. is how to sit in front of somebody, how to talk, how to keep eye contact, how to keep somebody engaged. You did all that, and so that that's good. Yeah. Um, the numbers thing you got just a little tied up into. Yeah, because it, it, there is. And this is enough. Listen, I, I, this is the first time I've done the the say that this particular um, event. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a numbersy. It's yeah. not. When I do, um, when, I, when I have a mentee and we do something, um, I know that he had, the Steiger has like the, the, the standard pat selling thing that we do at the end of the semester, or you can do your own. We always do one that's a hula hoop. I make yeah. it real simple. If I make hula hoops, I don't buy product liability insurance, I don't think anybody's gonna get hurt. Like you gotta dumb it down. This one is, this one's a little complicated with a numbersy sort of deal, but if you take the numbers out of it, you did a good job, keeping so, engagement, setting the rules of engagement <coughs> at the end, trying to pull it back to when can we set this back up. And I really like the last thing that you did. It said, cool, so I'm telling you I'm gonna save you, and again, breaking it down in the incremental, I'm telling you I can save you $20,000 a year net. If you break that down, that's essentially 700, I'm asking you wrong, 500 bucks, you know, between now and when you make your decision, you're gonna, it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. Are you willing to spend 500 bucks just to go ahead and give yourself time to make a decision? Mm -hmm. But th that at the end of the day, you might be able to make it today. Why make the decision in a week and you just cost you just cost you five hundred bucks to do it? We gotta wrap up. Yeah, cool. All right. Good so, to see you, man. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, 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 o